welcome to the video lectures on compiler design so now we will see what is string acceptance using CLR parsing table and uh, so we actually completed what is augmented grammar and we constructed LR of one items and after that uh, how to construct the parsing table that also we, we have completed so this also we have done whether the grammar is LR of one or not and finally we are going to this one so we'll see this one now now this is a construction of LR of one items this is also explained and this is a construction of CLR parsing table this is also explained and checking the grammar is uh, ambiguous or not that means every cell should must consist only one action the constraint is satisfied here that's why we call this grammar whatever the grammar this here this I call it as so this grammar I call it as an ambiguous now we'll see we'll take a input string and uh, we'll apply and whether we can get the answer or not we'll see mm. so I'll take an input string B D D so this is the input string I'll take and I'll check it out whether this input string is accepted by the grammar what is our grammar so this is our grammar so S tends to CC C tends to BC and C tends to D whether it will accept in general if you see yes it is accepting so we'll see this one how it is accepting by using CLR parsing table we'll see now so so the process uh, goes same like whatever I explained about uh, SLR parsing table that is about string acceptance of SR, SLR parsing table so same type of procedure I'll use here maybe you have seen in some seen somewhere like with only three columns but I'm explaining with four columns you can see here I feel like this is very easy so I'll start with dollar here dollar what is the first item I not that's why zero and here input is B D D ending with dollar so like this we need to write so first you need to start like this for any string now what you need to do the rightmost symbol here and the leftmost symbol you need to consider so what is the rightmost zero the means I zero I zero and leftmost what is the leftmost here B I zero to B you check it out in the parsing table so I zero to B what is written here I zero to B it is S3 so I'll write S3 S3 means shift only you know S means so shift so what we have to do means you have to shift what to be shifted the symbol so that B I'll shift here now the number the number should be shifted here so it will become what dollar zero three that's it if it is a shift you have to do only one action or process like this and here you will find only DD dollar why because we shifted of course if it is a reduction you will find uh, three instructions to be followed three steps to be followed we'll see those three steps now what next what next you can see I3 here here D I3 to D you can see I3 to D what is there here S4 so go for S4 so S4 means you have to shift so S4 so I am shifting so shift D should be shifted so after B D should be shifted and the number you need to write here dollar 0 3 then 4 this number I am writing and remaining here is D dollar now what next you need to do in the stack what is the rightmost which is of course top of the stack I4 and here what is the symbol D I4 to D what is I4 to D yeah you can see here R3 reduction so we got reduction we'll see how to do this reduction so reduce so R3 so that means you need to reduce so what you what you need to reduce means you have to check it out 3 means third production in your pro grammar you have to check it out what is the third production what is the third production C tends to D that means this has to be reduced that means right hand should be reduced as left no this is also we called as handle printing so your handle is now D only D should be reduced as C so your D where is D here D should be reduced as C only D should be reduced not B why because it is clearly given R3 to be reduced 
that means third production to be reduced so d is reduced as c this is the first step second step how many symbols you reduced only one symbol that's why cross one number from right side this is the second instruction then what you need to do after writing the remaining i what is the rightmost i3 here what is that c so this also you need to write i3 to c what is i3 to c this go to action also you need to write i3 to c is i3 to c is 8 so this also you need to write now three steps like this three steps to be followed and remaining as it is i am writing here now what next of course what is b in, is there no that also to be written here only d you reduce no b as it is now the next thing check it out next thing i i to d now we'll see what is i i a i to d what is i i to d yeah r2 again reduction we'll see what we need to reduce second production to be reduced why because r2 is there no what? second production what is second production c tends to bc so bc combinedly you have to reduce as c your handle is now bc now two symbols are there that means bc combinedly to be reduced as c so you must find this one here whatever you want to reduce that you must find here that handle you must find here so bc should be reduced as now c now what is this is the first step next step is how many symbols you are reducing two symbols that's why two numbers to be crossed and the remaining is zero here and the third step what is the rightmost zero here c i zero to c that go to also you need to write what is go to i zero to c two so that you need to complete now here d dollar as it is now what next i two here here d what is i2 to d what is i2 to d s7 s7 means shift now we got shift and we shift is very easy now so you simply has to shift what is the symbol d has to be shifted here and here you will find dollar and this number should be should be shifted here so here it will become dollar 0 to is there and now 7 will come here dollar that's it now what next here i7 here dollar what is i7 to dollar r3 now reduction so r3 reduce it so i'll reduce it what to be reduced is it cd to be reduced no you check it out only third production means what is there in third you have only d d should be reduced as c so d should be reduced as c now dollar as it is and only one symbol reduced that's why seven the last one has to be crossed and the third step is i2 to c you need to write what is i2 to c i2 to c which is five so five has to be written now you can see this d reduced as c what about this c i have to write as it is now what next i5 here dollar what is i5 to dollar which is r1 r1 so r1 reduce so what to be reduced you have to reduce one one means first production what is first production s tends to cc so now your handle is cc cc to be reduced as s so cc here to be reduced as s now how many symbols you reduced two symbols so cross two numbers so now here dollar zero now i zero to s you need to write now i zero to s you need to write what is i zero to s go to one so one here here dollar now you check it out here i one here dollar what is i one to dollar what is i one to dollar accept so i'll write accept so finally we got accept so that's why this string is accepted by the grammar and now one more thing you can observe here in pruning you got s which is a start symbol so finally you need to get start symbol now so this is only we call it as bottom up parsing we are starting with the string and finally you need to get the start symbol or you call it as you are starting with the leaves leaves and going to the root now 
So this is what actually like this we need to check whether the given string is accepted by the grammar or not by using CLR parsing table. Thank you.